Hi everyone, this is Chantel. I'm doing a project for one of my PIDP courses, 3240, which is a media course. And today I'm going to be showing you how to register for your BC registration number. So this is me showing you. So you open up your browser and you're welcome to use Google if you want and just Google BC Healthcare Aid Registry. However, I'm going to show you what the actual website is. So if you go to www.cachwr.bc.ca, it's going to bring up the BC Care Aid Registry. So now, if you scroll down a little bit, you're going to see right here on the right hand side is the registration register now. So you just click that. And if you scroll down again, you're going to see that there's four different options here. So, of course, this would be our option, graduate, graduate of an HCA program in BC, or there's graduate of an HCA program in Canada. Or if you're a nurse like me, you could click on this and I could register to get an HCA number. Or there's a nursing student uh, in Canada and you could click that as well. However, because you obviously graduated in BC, like I said before, you're going to be using this box right here. If you click under application requirements, you're going to see that the BC Care, Care Aid Registry um, requires you to submit at least one of these documents as proof of completion of the program. So you can uh, upload a certificate, which you guys won't get for at least another month. The college mails them out to you or an official transcript, which you could uh, go through records and apply for one. It costs about $10, or if you wanted the digital copy, it's about $16.50. However, uh, if you're willing to wait a couple days, we're going to be um, sending you guys digitally the official letter of completion. And this would be just fine to upload. So that'll be sent to your Selkirk email. And hopefully by Monday, you guys will be able to get that um, in your Selkirk email. All right. So if we just scroll down. There's just um, some information here if you needed to change your name. And I'm just going to click back so that we can register. So I'm going to register now. All right, so this is what the registration process looks like. So step one, verification. So please read the following statement carefully and check the box that you that apply to you. I verify that I reside in British Columbia. I'm a Canadian citizen or permanent resident of Canada or hold a valid work permit to work in Canada. So yes, I verify that I'm 19 years of age or older. Yep. And if you're under 19, then you need to uh, get a parental consent form filled out, which you can download right here, and then you can re-upload um, into this box right here. However, because uh, the majority of us are above 19 years old, we can just uh, put I verify that I'm 19 years of age. You click step two. All right, so step two is where we put in our name. So for this um, particular form, I'm obviously not going to use my own name. I'm just going to use uh, one that we're, we use often, which is geriatrics. So Jerry, first name, no middle name, last name, atrix. Gender is going to be, we'll say he's male. Home address. Uh, let's put um, 911 Old Oak Street. And province is British Columbia, city. And we can put, why don't we say Ainsworth? Postal code can be B1D 4X4. Primary phone number here, 888-828-8822. So you just fill in all the spots that have a star. It's really important that you don't forget any of them, as it'll just kick back and we'll let you continue on anyway. And so an email address, geriatrics 
at mm, above ground .ca. You're typing we need to make a password so I guess my password is just going to be medium I think I matched the password we'll see in a second security question hmm your maidens okay mother's maiden land hmm chain uh, okay step three. Oh, okay so this is a great example of what an error would look like so there are errors errors below it'll kick back and won't let you keep going to the next step so mine had to do with my password okay Apparently did not put in the same numbers. Let's try that again. Okay. Now let's try. Aha. Okay. So now we're on step three. So this is where you need to actually upload um, your documents. So please enter the following details about the educational institution where you received your formal training. So if you just click in here and you start type, uh, typing Selkirk, you can see that we can uh, click Selkirk College. Um, program completion date is going to be March um, 15th. And... You're going to browse to upload the program completion letter that I was telling you that we're going to send you. So we'll send it to you by email, but also if you wanted to do your transcripts, you could. Um, just please note that they do need to be official transcripts, which means that you have to apply through records at Selkirk in order to get them. Um, they have to be official transcripts. So program completion letter, I'm going to upload that. And then if there was a change of name, this is where you would upload that information. So now we're going to head over to step four. So this is the review and submit application part. So you're just going to review all your information. Please make sure that you take the time at this uh, page particularly to make sure that all your information is correct um, as this is the information that will be sent into the system as well as um, this will create a login for you. So Jerry, Atrix, Mail, 911 Old, Oak Street, Ainsworth, looks right, everything looks good. We got our program completion letter attached. Okay, so this is where you would go consent and now this would come up and you would go ahead and create account and submit application. Now of course because I obviously made a fake account I'm not going to push create account and submit application. I'll let you guys go ahead and do that. Um, however now you've seen all the steps that it takes in order to do your registry. Um, and you can see this video was around nine minutes, so it didn't take very long at all. And if you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to your clinical instructor or myself. I'd love to answer them for you. And congratulations on completing our program.